I'm here at the Phoenix Comic Con with Dave Shaddix, a Lego artist. How are you doing today, sir? Doing great. How are you doing? Pretty good. Now, I have to say, this takes a lot of work and effort to get move all these little small pieces to look anything as good as this. I know I could never do some of this. Just like, how, how do you start one of these? Uh, well, I take a reference photo. Uh, this is actually one that was uh, done by a friend of mine. He wanted this. He actually built this himself. I drew it out for him okay. and uh, laid it all out, and, and then he built it uh, because for this event. So just take a, a photograph and redraw it. Uh, you can go old school and use graph paper, or you can use a computer and line it up like that. Uh, I mean, there's actually programs that'll do the whole work for you, but the image doesn't turn out nearly as nicely done as if you hand draw it. So at home you have like buckets and buckets of the stuff. Tons, yeah. It's it's everything's organized, everything's in its place, and it's uh, uh, cumbersome. That's a big part of the the job is actually sorting through and making everything's put a, put away. You probably got into this for, all for obvious reasons when you were a kid, and it's because it's, it's Lego, right? Right. Yeah. Uh, and then once my kids uh, got old enough, I started building stuff with them, and then. I actually saw an artist back east who did portraits, and I wanted a portrait, and his price tag was too high. And I decided to take a crack at it and ended up spending a lot more money than I would have spent. It took a lot more time than I would have spent, but I liked the outcome. Uh, with the, the intense uh, placement of all these things, it, it probably wears down your fi the tips of your fingers moving all these, because they're just like regular sets for me. that It, it can hurt, really hurt your fingers. Uh, I don't really think so. I don't use, use your thumbs a lot, and I don't know. It, it's it's not that hard. It doesn't really hurt. After a while, I guess you get used to it. Maybe you develop calluses. I don't know. It doesn't. I don't really feel it that much. So I would assume that it's not going to be a, a good idea to walk around your house with just wearing socks. There must be. You must have stepped on a million of them by now. Uh, well, the house is good. Uh, the studio is is hazardous at some points. Uh, Especially, you know, depending on how, how dirty the table gets, if there's a spill onto the floor, uh, whether or not I, I hit everything, get it all picked up, but yeah, it's... And then, of course, there's the kids' room, too, which, same deal there. And it's not just that the kids fall if you step on a brick, it's also the fathers. Right. <laughs> exactly. Oh, uh, what piece... Uh, are you most proud of that you've made so far? Uh, it's actually the one just behind me here, uh, the Buzz Aldrin. Uh, I'm actually put the most time into that project that I've put into any of them yet. I'm, I'm right just over 100 hours on that. And uh, it's so far, it's, it's just my favorite. I, I love the visual on that. And is there a, a Lego piece that you're working on now? Uh, uh, yeah, I am. I'm actually working on a uh, uh, full-size, uh, it's, it's three-dimensional. Di three uh, version of the uh, the Cardinals, the Arizona Cardinals helmet. So that's for uh, Lego Kids Fest, which is coming up. And uh, besides the uh, comic book conventions, did you attend uh, Lego conventions as well? Uh, well, there's uh, no, actually I haven't been to one yet. Uh, there's one, the Lego Kids Fest coming up in July, at the end of July at the Arizona, uh, or the Phoenix, University of Phoenix Stadium. Uh, I'll be there with the Cardinals, but I, I'm not really going. I'll probably have to buy a ticket just like everyone else. So is, like, Legoland your mecca? Oh, God, yeah. It's awesome there. Well, uh, thank you very much for talking with us. This, your, the work you have here is r truly marvelous. A lot of work and effort put on it. And I hope you enjoy the rest of the convention. Well, thanks. Yeah, it's, it's a fun time. I've walked around a little bit, and uh, it's actually uh, grown quite a bit. I, this is my fourth time being at Phoenix Comic Con, and it's bigger every time. And it's just it's fun, and it's, it's a blast. Uh, where can people uh, find your work if they want to look for it? Uh, I'd go to my Facebook page. I have a website, but I'm more active on Facebook, which is facebook.com slash southwestbricks. So. Well, thank you for talking with us, and enjoy the rest of the con. Cool. Yeah, thanks. You too.